There are several ways to add images in Adobe Illustrator. I'm going to go through a few of those and also how to adjust those images. In Adobe Illustrator, the easiest way to add images is to go to File and Place, and then find the images that you want to add. I have some images that I'm going to add um, from a folder with some photos in it. And you can add more than one at a time, or you can just add um, one. But if I select all of these at once, it will then give me four images that I can place into my document. This is at the full size of these images. So for comparison, this template here is the size of a piece of paper, and these images are way too large. So the next thing I need to do is be able to adjust them and then place them in my document the way I want to. One way that I can do that is by using my black arrow tool and dragging on the corner. It's extremely important to select shift, otherwise the image will become distorted. So for instance, I'm going to zoom out here. If I hold down shift, this image will become smaller and proportional. If I don't hold down shift, the image will become squished and we never want that to happen. Undo. You can also adjust the size of images by using the scale tool. So you can do object and um, transform scale. And this allows you to do a uniform scale. So if you know you only want it to be, say, 20% of the original, you can do this. And that's really great if you're trying to scale a lot of images at once to be the same size, for instance. You can uh, select them all at the same time and have them scale the same amount. Sometimes you still might need to adjust them a little bit at the end, but that will do that uh, much more efficiently if you're doing this for a lot of different images. I'm going to zoom back to my, my zoomed in view. Um, you can also move the images around using the black arrow tool. And um, you can also arrange them, organize them the same way as other elements on your page. So for instance, if you want to be able to have two images aligned, you can use your align tools the same way you do with other elements in Illustrator to make them uh, be aligned or proportional. I'm going to add a few of my other images here. You can also, by scaling, make things this exact same dimensions, or for instance, you can scale more than one image at a time. So I'm going to go ahead and scale these together to get them to fit into this space. I'm going to do that the same way with these ones as well. If you are commonly building grids of images, um, you might also find the need to be able to crop or scale images. And in Illustrator, there is not really a standard crop tool. However, you can crop images if you need to um, by using an, a layer mask or an image mask. So for instance, if I needed to make one of these photos into a square, let's say this dog photo, I can zoom in, make a square using my shape tool put it where I want that crop to be, and I can switch the, the fill and the outline if I want to be able to see where that's going to be, uh, and then use the image mask by going to image, clipping mask, make. This doesn't erase the rest of the picture. If I hover on it, you can see where those boundaries are, but it basically hides it. And this is also something where you can set up a grid of squares ahead of time and then fit your images into those after you've added them to your document.